I got my fan control. It goes to a one through four. Then I got my um, my air conditioner or the the the, the, the direction of it. it. Goes to your face. Yeah. Goes to your face and feet. Face again. Your feet. Uh, it goes to the froster and feet, and then the froster. Yeah. We're getting properly working, so it goes hot too cold. No. Uh, and both of the temperatures are working as well. Okay. And you gotta make sure the the process is working. You gotta put your hand right there. Yeah. That. My mirrors. I'm properly mounted, secure, and I cracked, man, I broke it. No illegal stickers. Um, it's adjusted for me when driving. I got my other mirror right there. Proper mount secure, not cracked, man, I broke it. It's adjusted for me when driving. No illegal stickers on both of them. Okay. And they're uh, free from. Uh, they're clean and free of of obstruction. Okay. I got my front mirror and my back mirror. My back. No, I got my front. One shield, my back one shield, proper mount secure, not cracked, been or broken, no legal stickers, free from obstruction. Um, it's not chipped, broken, or any damage on it. No legal stickers. Okay. Thank you, I said that already. I got my windshield wiper. It's proper mount secure, not cracked, been or broken, no missing hardware. Um, the rubber seal on it is not ripped, torn, or fray, it's, and it's in normal operating range. And I got my washer, it's working as well. Okay. But well, it's not, there's no washer in there. Yeah. <laughs> I already talked about my seatbelt, it goes on and off, it latches and latches. If I rip, torn or fray, it's attached to the tractor inside, on uh, top and bottom. I don't okay. want to unlatch it, but because it does unlatch and unlatch. Because yeah. you want to get, you don't want to fail you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got my, uh, my my fuse box, my emergency, my emergency fuses, they're right here, they're not cracked, men are broken. I got my uh, fire extinguisher, it's fully rated, it's uh, not cracked, men are broken, fully mounted to the truck, pinned intact. And it's uh, fully charged, up to date. Then I got my three triangles, they're underneath the seat. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're, uh, there's three of them. They're not ripped, torn, or fray, And they're in operating range. So I got three of those. Then I got my shifter. My shifter uh, rubber seal around it. It's not ripped, torn, or fray. There's no um, exhaust coming from the bottom or any suit. Okay. And I got my windows. They go up and down. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. And they're probably mounted secure. And they work freely. Yeah. I got my air horn. Yeah. It works properly. And I got my city horn. It works properly. Okay. And I got my clutch pedal. Probably not secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. I got my brake pedal. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Probably not secure. I got my uh, I got my accelerator. Probably not secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. They're all functioning. Let's see if I forgot anything. Much then you're gonna ask the, the 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 examiner to. Oh no, not yet. No, that's not, not yet. yet. No, I'm not done yet. I've got to do the the, the tuck test now. Oh. I, that's why I waited for the government to cut out. Okay. So I already cut out. So right now my primary gauge is at 120 psi. Secondary gauge is at 119 psi. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me say that again. Primary gauge is at 119 psi. Secondary gauge is at 119 psi. Okay. My next test is I'm gonna do my tractor trailer brake test. I'm gonna okay. make sure they're working with properly and functioning. Okay. I'm gonna release the trailer brakes. So you just push that in. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna put it in first gear. Then you do a, a tuck test. Make sure it doesn't uh, vehicle does not move. Okay. All right. This was a good test because my track my tractor brakes are properly functioning and they're working fine. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull my brakes up and release this one. Well, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna move forward. Yeah. All right, this was a good test because my uh, my trailer brakes are probably uh, are functioning properly, working fine, and yeah. they're a normal operating range. So now I'm gonna do the five mile per hour test. I'm gonna make sure my service brake pedal test and my alignment. Um, I gotta release my truck and trailer brakes. All right, this was a good test because my uh, my steering wheel did not go left or right, indicating I got proper alignment and my brake pedal is properly functioning, working well. So that, put my air brakes on. It's in neutral, turn that off. It's in neutral, all my brakes are on. That concludes my in-cab inspection. Um, with the air brakes, brake test, and then the end cap. I'm gonna put my key back on. This is where I actually examiner. Um, now, can you check my four-way flashers, my turn signals, my headlights, 
my brake lights and my reverse lights, see if they're working fine. That's it. That's, that's all right. That's the end cap inspection. Okay.